welcome back to Lesson 62 in Saxon's second edition of Algebra 1 Half. This lesson is called Proportions with Fractions. Now this is one of those lessons that <clears throat> sometimes kids will look at and they'll, they'll seize up right, right as soon as they see the problem and um, get a little bit afraid that they just can't do that. I want to assure you you can do it. This is very simple. Do not worry. Don't don't get agitated. Don't get nervous. It is very simple. I found this little illustration, and I think it's perfect um, to represent what we're going to be doing. A over B equals C over D. So what we're, to solve this, we would say A times D equals B times C. So it really is just a matter of cross multiplication in fractions. All right, so if we cross multiply 2 fifths times x, we get 2 fifths x equals 3 fourths times 1 third. Alright, now the first thing I'm going to need to do is do my multiplication over on the right. 2 fifths x equals 3, let's see, I can cross cancel here. I should do that and that would leave me 1 over 4. Let's erase this. That would be the easiest thing to do. Alright, now I have something that I'm, it looks more familiar to me, and I'm going to solve for x. So, I've got a fraction here beside of x, so I'm going to, to uh, divide by a fraction. You have to invert and multiply on both sides. Do the same thing. These cancel each other out, and that leaves me with x. x is equal to 5 over 8. Isn't that simple? It's This is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be so much more fun than um, some other things that we've done. Alright, again, we're going to cross cancel. 5 eighths times x is 5 eighths x equals 2 thirds times 1 fifth. And I want you to make sure to write it out like this, okay? Alright, and then if I'm going to multiply that, I'm going to get 2 over 15. I can't uh, cross cancel anything out there. Equals 2 over 15. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to invert this and multiply. So I'm going to do that on both sides. cancel out. X is equal to 2 times 8 is 16 and 15 times 5 is 75. And there was nothing I could cross cancel to simplify that on the other side. Okay, let's work um, your practice problems together. We cross multiply 3 over 2 X equals 1 fourth times 1 fifth. So 3 over 2 x is equal to 1 over 20. Invert, invert here and multiply. I can cross cancel here. I can also cross cancel here, and that would leave me with 1 over 30. X is equal to 1 over 30. Alright, here the variable is y, but we would do it the very same way. 1 sixth y equals 1 fifth. Do that multiplication on the right, 
I'm going to get looks like a three on those stacks two two over fifteen. A common factor and that would be 3. 3 will go into 6 2 times and into 15 5 times. So 2 times 2 is 4 5 times 1 is 5. So y is equal to 4 fifths. Alright and then finally c 1 half x equals now this 2 is a whole number so I'm going to make it a fraction by putting 2 over 1 times 1 over 8. I can cross cancel here. So I've got 1 half x equals 1 fourth. Convert, multiply. job with um, luck. I will see you back next time for lesson 63.